Welcome back to another episode of College Football where we got the Notre Dame Fighting Irish versus the Ohio State Buckeyes. And this shall be a very fun matchup which may have some college football playoff implications and should be a real test for both teams as both teams are ranked within the top 10. And it'll be interesting to see how Sam Hartman and the Fighting Irish will do against Ryan Day, Kyle McCord, and the Buckeyes. And today we'll be playing at Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game and what do you guys think the score will be. Should be a fun one to watch. And the Buckeyes will get the ball to start and it is a pass to Johnson right there. Xavier Johnson and a 24 yard reception and I don't know why, but this roster has C.J. Stroud, even though he's playing in the NFL with the Houston Texans. But that's okay, and we'll see how this matchup will go. And here we got C.J. Stroud on a third and six to try and keep the drive alive. And he gets it to Marvin Harrison Jr. for a nine-yard reception and a first down. Great job by the Buckeyes right there to keep their drive alive. It is now 3rd and 8 for the Ohio State Buckeyes and Stroud gets the ball off quickly and gets it to Xavier Johnson once again for a 25 yard reception. And already Xavier Johnson has 2 catches for 49 yards and this will make the Ohio State Buckeyes go into the red zone. It is now a 3rd and 12 for the Ohio State Buckeyes and CJ Stroud gets it to Emika Igbugba for 13 yard touchdown reception right there and with 330 remaining in the second quarter the Ohio State Buckeyes get the first points of the game leading the Irish 7-0 and what a great job by Stroud to get it to the receiver and it looks like the Notre Dame defense does a good job on first and second down but cannot stop third downs. It is now 3rd and 4 for Sam Hartman and the Notre Dame offense but the pressure gets there and Sam Hartman just has to throw it away and this makes it a 4th and 4 and the Notre Dame Irish are within their own territory so they are going to have to punt the ball back to the Ohio State offense with 2.55 remaining in the second quarter. It is now 3rd and 1 for the Ohio State Buckeyes offense and they give it to Mayan Williams who gets 6 yard and a first down with a minute 6 remaining in this second quarter. And on 1st and 10 Stroud gets it to his receiver Fleming for a 12 yard reception and a first down with 42 seconds remaining in the second quarter and Ohio State still has all three of their timeouts so they are looking to punch it into the end zone and leave no time for the Notre Dame offense to try and respond back and they give it to Williams who gets into the end zone and what a great job by the offensive line to push the defenders away and to allow Mayan Williams free space to run into the end zone right there. Sam Hartman and the offense are looking to answer back before the end of the half and on third and three Audric Estime gets a nine yard reception to give them a first down and to stop the clock and Notre Dame has all three of their timeouts so they may be able to answer back before the end of the half. And on second and inches Hartman has some time in the pocket and gets it out to his receiver Thomas and he makes a defender not know where he is at all and gets that touchdown reception right there and that is a response that Notre Dame wanted to have against the Ohio State Buckeyes before the end of the first half and just on one explosive play they score a touchdown and cut the lead back to a one possession game with eight seconds remaining in the second quarter. What a great job by the Notre Dame offense right there to get that touchdown. And Sam Hartman and company get the ball to start off the second half, but on third and six cannot convert and are forced to punt back to the Ohio State offense. 
And on second and eight, Stroud gets it to Mayan Williams, who gets a block and rushes for 11 yards and the first down right there with 217 remaining in the third quarter. And the Ohio State offense are now at the 33-yard line of Notre Dame. And right on the next down, on first and 10, they give it to Mayan Williams, who gets a block once again and rushes for another first down. And the time is slowly ticking away with Ohio State being able to run the ball and using all of their clock. It is now a third and two for the Ohio State Buckeyes and who to give it again to Mayan Williams who rushes for three yards and the first down making it a first and goal for the Buckeyes offense at the nine yard line. It is now third and goal for the Buckeyes at the eight and they give it to Mayan Williamson one more time and Notre Dame decides to take a timeout and now it is fourth and goal for the Ohio State Buckeyes at the three and they will take the three points to make it a two possession game with two minutes remaining in the game. It is now 17 to seven in favor of Ohio State. And on first and 10, Sam Hartman has time in the pocket and gets it to his receiver, Thomas, once again. And number 26 of the Buckeyes gets a shoestring tackle. That saves a touchdown right there. And the Notre Dame offense is looking to go hurry up. And it's a flag on the play as the defender could not get back to the line of scrimmage in time. But the Notre Dame offense is able to complete a first down so it looks like they will decline that penalty and that was a free play for Notre Dame right there. And on second and three Hartman has some time in the pocket moving to his left but the pressure gets there and sacks him for seven yards making it a third and ten for the Notre Dame fighting Irish and Sam Hartman was better off just throwing the ball away but he doesn't and makes the clock run and loses some yard for his offense right there. It is now a fourth and four for the Notre Dame offense and rather than taking a field goal they decide to go for it and Sam Hartman completes it to his receiver Dion Colsey for a touchdown. That was very clutch by Hartman right there and Notre Dame still has two times out with 55 seconds remaining they will most likely go for an onside kick but if their defense can get a stop it is a three-point game and might give their offense just a chance to pull off the victory and Notre Dame lines up for the onside kick and Ohio State gets the ball and with 53 seconds left if Ohio State can get one more first down they can run out the clock and get the victory. It is now a third and two for the Ohio State Buckeyes and Williams trips up and only gains one yard making it fourth and in inches but it looks like clock will just about run out and it'll be interesting to see if the Ohio State Buckeyes go for a field goal. If they do they can most likely run the clock out but if they decide to go for it, then the game will end anyway. But it looks like they are trying to go for a quarterback sneak and to end the game. And they will snap it at two seconds left. And CJ Stroud gets two yards. And that makes the clock run down to zeros. And with that, Ohio State gets the victory 17-14 over the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate all the support. And if you want to see more content like this, we'll be covering college football all season long. So we'll catch you in the next one and take care.